what's going on all you b-e-a-u-t full people of the internet alexandelda here and happy friday everyone doesn't it feel awesome to finally be off from the work week and be able to chill for the whole weekend and then you know watch anime on saturday nights and then watch the walking dead on sunday or drink yourself and make videos the sound of how dead you are. <laughs> so, I wanted, originally, I wanted to, it to be a fan Friday where you guys see the game for me, but, um, stuff happens, and so, I'm just gonna play a fan-made game for a YouTuber, and so today's game is Jack Tips the Guy's Paradox. So, I played the first couple of minutes of the game, which I should not have but I did anyway, and I promise I won't do it ever again. So, <laughs> so let me start a new game. And let's hop right into it. Now, firstly, how low are your standards for this game? And I remember it tricked me. I went through, when my first playthrough of it, I went through medium high and got to it, which I guess meant godly, or I don't know the acronym, I'm sorry. Uh, maybe you guys can tell me what the acronym G-O-T-Y means, I guess. But it tricked me. I literally spent like a couple of minutes trying to figure out whatever because I really did have high standards for the game but it's a trick so you always have to say very low uh very good keep it that way please input your name it can be funny or serious with this though it would be better if you were serious press escape to backspace so my name of course you guys know is um um I'm gonna escape that right there is Zelda uh once again backspace that that I'm okay Wow, okay. Um, so apparently I have to use, I, I was trying to use my keypad, which is why the, each time I press Z, A appeared. So we're just gonna type in my name like this. <laughs> because apparently I can't follow directions correctly. So let's just go down and press OK. Is Zelda correct? It, uh, no, but I'm too lazy to fix it. No, it is correct. Awesome. Now let's start this death field adventure, shall we? The loss of our favorite YouTuber. Oh, how exciting. It all started on a cloudy afternoon. Jack was being eaten alive by zombies, and with the help of his septic powers, he... Ow, hey, stop hitting me with the shoe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Someone tried to change the story before it even started. No zombies here, don't worry. Or is there? I don't know who Joel is, but it's his fault. We are having technical difficulties. I just want to point that out. Well, there goes my last sticky bomb. Anyways, we have dropped this game that hasn't even started yet to bring you a message. This game was made as a fan tribute to Jacksepticeye by someone who has no experience with games. With that being said, a lot of effort was put into this for the three to four weeks it took it was worked on. So I hope it's still all right. Still better patience than me. I literally tried to make a five second animation and I got frustrated. It took 30 minutes and I just closed the computer and moved on with my life. This game was meant to be played in window mode. The graphics are already pixelated enough. Why would you want that in full, in full screen? Press F12 and click again on full screen to put it back into a window, please. Well, it's already windowed. This game does not take itself seriously, can you tell? If you hate corny and stupid jokes, are expecting some super scary and serious RPG game, and or are a Billy fan, then please exit now. All games reference... 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 Reference belong to their respective owner. Enjoy. I will. Thank you so much. Yeah, that was... Look, before we even start this, I want to say that my impression of Jack is horrible. I've tried. Even when watching his videos, I've tried. It sounds horrible. So please forgive me, fan, fans of Jack Septa. I cannot talk today. Please excuse me, fans of Jack Septa guy, okay? So here we go. All right, exit is on. Yep, my mic is recording. One, two, three... Top of the morning to you laddies, my name is Jack Septiguy and you guys Well, I didn't have to do it. Damn it, what the Damn it, I love <laughs> Sorry, I love the Rocket Horror Picture Show and I can't see damn it without putting Janet up sorry. Fuck the power went out, didn't it? Ah, screw you Storm. Ah, that was horrible acting. I should never be a voice actor. I tried to be a voice actor for the new Gears of War game that was coming out. Oh, it wasn't Gears of War. For the new Mass Effect game that was coming out. 
And I'm pretty sure that's why I didn't get chosen to be a voice actor in there. So, just putting that there. Alright, let's move around. A piece of art I got a while back, but I don't really remember who made it. Someone called Ger Ger Gertina? Ger Gertina, I think. I'm so sorry if I saw that name. Please tell me how to correctly pronounce that name and whatnot, okay? You can never have too much art. Actually, you probably could. No, I fully agree. You can never have too much. Let's see. Oh, I guess I have to go on the other side of it. A rainbow elephant. No, no, Jack. Um, I don't know if that's what they're called in Ireland. Oh, oh, never mind. Hi, huh, just kidding. It's a trash can. I'm funny, I swear. You're, 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 you're a character. I'll give you that. Pretty cold, so I'd rather stay in my sweater. Yeah. Well, why not? Being being um not in a sweater is so much fun. Although I love sweaters and all weather at at any point of time, so got this metal suit of armor as a joke, but it's actually kind of cool looking. Wear armor? Heck yeah, wear that armor. Eh, why not? I'm not leaving my room with this on though. <coughs> Excuse me. The <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. The creator is too lazy to remove the armor, so just pretend there are two really thin, identical suits of armor and Jack took one of them off. Okay, thank you so much for that. Jack actually looks pretty cool in that armor. He should wear armor in real life. No, no, let's not go to sleep. I'm not ready to go to sleep yet. I'm pretty sure that's how you save the game, because that's how we save the game in other RPG games. I drink tea about the gallon a day. Oh, and besides... It, oh, and beside it is that red book that I can never get myself to read. Oh, sure, why not? To read, it goes to the item section in your menu by pressing escape. Oh, okay, well, never mind then. I'm not going to read it. Maybe because I already read it. Maybe maybe that's it. Well, I might as well get something to eat while I wait for the power to come back on. There's nothing else to do, so... Oh, no, I don't do children. <laughs> I don't do the creepy children. I don't do children at all. Like, I, uh, I refuse to play with creepy children in, in video games or, yeah, no. Start running. Wait, no, hold on. Why should I have to run for you? You can't tell me what to do. What if I don't want to run, huh? What if I don't want none of that spooky, scary stuff? I'm sick of all the stupid game logic. Go here, press this. I don't want that. And you know what? Be ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure Jack would go on a three hour rant. <laughs> and then people die. Run to the kitchen or I'll destroy your secret stash of cookies. But I don't have a secret stash of cookies. Just run, damn it. That hurt my throat actually doing it. I'm so sorry. I will. I, I, Please let this be over soon. Oh, oh wait. <coughs> let me do this right. <coughs> ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Scary cat. You're even more powerful than me. <laughs> Feel it. What's that black smoke? Ha <laughs> ha. Can't believe you made me so up. That's for all the times you made me go head first. My balls, Jack. You're even more annoying in per Wait, why are you even here? You're a Happy Wheels character, not a damn hologram thing. Hey, Jack, how long have you been seeing YouTube videos? And you still haven't explained to me why there's this black mist literally taking over my whole kitchen. Wait, this isn't even my damn kitchen. And why does it smell like bread? How long have you been doing YouTube videos for? Whoa, whoa, okay, sheesh. I made my account in 2007, but started making videos two years ago. Why do you need to know? And just what is all of this? This doesn't make any sense. Why are you even here? Did you cut the power off? You're nearing 3 million subscribers. Oh, okay. Let's just ignore that really creepy smoke and the fact that I'm t talking to a Happy Wheels character. Sure. And I know I'm 400,000 away from 3 million. What is going on? You're going to end up just like in every Happy Wheels video when I'm done with you. Relax, you're yelling louder than in T-Simulator. Peace. 
face. I'd ignore the black smoke. This is a cinematic effect. <laughs> Have you ever thought of what happened to your older videos? What do you mean? Over the past year, your channel for some reason exploded in popularity and you've gotten more subscribers than ever. By creating those videos, you're creating worlds and universes with those pixelated characters like myself. And so people start seeing those characters like Steve, Sugar Plum, and the oh so amazing Billy. Nobody likes you. Shut up, they love you. And yeah, okay, that's all, that's, that's, that's sure nice and all, but why are you even in my apartment? You're a fictional character, just like all the other gar characters in the games that I play. Your videos are surely not just fictional, though. Through your whole time on YouTube, you've made a lot of simple pictures come to life. For better or for worse. Oh, come on. What does that mean? Your whole job depends on these videos, but also the people that watch them. Over time, the videos you made in the past disappear, while some others grow and reach extreme popularity. Even some of your most dedicated fans don't know about a few of these videos. And I can't say from the looks of things that they are happy about that. And it's gotten worse as you, as you have gotten more popular. Well, it's not like I could do anything about that. People watch what they want, and I'm not going to force them to watch my old stuff or any of my videos. Sure, I'll admit it. I've forgotten maybe a few things about my really old videos, but is, is it that bad? I couldn't say the same forever. Once you completely forget about these characters, their universe is going to die. And that's what's going to happen soon for a lot of your old series, if you don't do something about it. Die out? That's literally what I just said. Yeah, die out. Okay, this is serious, and you're still standing there. So do you want to help, or just stick your thumb there as you wait for the power to come back on? I realized that, that said suck after I said stick, so please forgive me. Well, I certainly don't want to help you, but of course I'm going to save my old videos. I'm not going to let them just die on me. Okay, so what's the first video game I'm going to? And how do I help my videos from not just dying on me? Well, I'm not going with you. So you'll just have to figure it out as you go through universes. You have three games to play to go through. Your goal is to get through all of them and hopefully in one piece. Make sure to explore everything. Things aren't what they seem. Have fun. Screw you, Billy! <laughs> Did I do it? Am I cool yet? <coughs> Alright, let's save here. Yay, saved in Jack Jackaboy's apartment. Let's skip. Skip. Okay, cool. Oh, this music is very sad. What an odd looking place. It seems really taped together, yet somehow reminds me of something. Ah, fuck it. I should just start exploring to get this over with. Amy. Amy? She stares at you with a blank look. Um, okay. YouTube gone to chaos. Several days ago, the video sharing site has been going through maintenance due to a certain bug causing not only the server to crash for, for many users, but for many users, his videos to disappear or to display incorrectly. The video going only into static after a few seconds in. The site asks for patience and cooperation of its user and employees until they are able to fix this issue. All right. Cowplant berries. One squirrel do not feed them because they'll probably eat your face off wow well then exactly jack we 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 have the same idea hey the music kicked up um oh yes and then we could steal the bolts on the segway <laughs> and we'll have to buy them back and then as us and then he'll have to buy them back from us oh i can just smell the profit in the air Oh, aren't you the clever one? Not. Don't you realize he cares so much about his segue that he'll probably recognize the bolts in an instant. <gasps> Maybe we should paint them then. They look more hyperactive than me. I think I see a visitor. And he's wearing such a wonderfully rich 
green colored sweater. Green's in nowadays, you know. <laughs> I don't know what that. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. hello. <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? Oh, cutie, don't look so worried. Make yourself at home. There's lots and lots and lots of room here. Welcome, dear client, to our lovely shop. Have you heard of us? You should. Oh, yes, you should, for we are quite a special case. You guys sure do look like a special case. Care to buy some wonderfully fresh fruits, sodas, meat, plants? Yes, yes, yes. We have lots of pretty plants, machine parts, gadgets, armor, weapon, nuclear bombs. Poison pastries for that very special person. A cupid's arrow with sign out on the tip of it. We have just about anything you could ever want. Uh, yes, I'd like an explanation. What is this and who even are you? Oh, look, he's feisty. And this is our fabulous portable shop. It can carry so many things, yet it's really quite easy to set up. It's a really great deal. Oh, yes, yes. And these virtual universes might have a lot of dead people. But boy, once in a while, we come across treasures such as yourself. But I don't have I any money. We know. I tried to pickpocket you a few seconds ago, but you didn't have even a wallet or a watch on you. <laughs> but you should buy a wonderful silver watch from us. Very fashionable. Uh, yes. But we do need our fun once in a while. Business is so rough these days. And nobody seems to ever be smiling or in a good mood either. So, we'll give you some free stuff. We'll give you some stuff for free. We're quite charitable mer merchants, wouldn't you say? So, are you in or not, cutie? It's quite a win-win deal either way. We get to be entertained by you, and you get stuff for free. What's the catch? Oh, um, well, I wouldn't call it a catch. It's just a teeny tiny little thing you'd be willing to do for us. That's all. Simple. We ask you riddles and even some super duper fun questions. And if you get them right, you win a prize. But if you get them wrong, well... We've been keeping behind the shelves some potions and silly little inventions of ours that we hadn't gotten to test out. Some people are so stubborn, I say. So, get it wrong, and with your consent, we shall try out one of our small inventions on you. Don't worry, the ones that are lethal have already been tested by many before you, so you should be fine. So, what do you say? Um... No. <coughs> Wrong! I'm sure you'll be smarter when it comes to answering questions next time. Hmm. Hey, hey, no, let go! What happened? Shut your mouth, snowman. That look, the house looks really clean. Cool. Honestly, I don't feel like going in. This place really gives me the creeps, and I'm not even inside the house. You sure you want to continue through your universe, coward? Hey, I'm not a coward. Billy! Wait, where are you? 
Like can be obnoxious, right? Oh, well, which you will. <laughs> Looky for me, I'm just a hologram. I don't have to make myself visible. And I won't because I know that if I did that, you'd try to beat me up. Eh, that sounds about right. Anyway, you're not even close to restoring your old video. And already you're wimping out of this. No, no, I never said I was wimping out. <coughs> I was just wondering what game this universe is based on and admiring the wonderful architecture of this fake house. Y yep. Loser. Oh, and if you were actually even a little curious about what game this is, it's the House of the Mad Father game. Whoa. This is going way far back into my videos, isn't it? I feel like I played that ages ago, but wait, that series did pretty well for that time. Too well. Your commentary was horrible. Like, seriously, you gave the father solid snakes, boys. <laughs> I mean... And it might not be your, and it might not be your least view series, but not a lot of people remember. You only had about a thousand subs at the time, after all. Besides, like I said before, these games' universes have been mashed together as time passes by, so you'll probably see even more obscure games you played later on. That's if you don't miss out, though. <laughs> oh, shut up! I'll go inside the house already. Can't be that bad anyway. It might be for your friends. <laughs> and I thought the Oculus Rift was good for immersing in some kind of game. Also, what does Billy mean by my friends? My father isn't a multiplayer game. Get away, get away, get away! Those girls strings? I? Maybe Billy was right for once, and this place is more dangerous than it seems. Okay, cool. I really small table with some deals and letters on it. Okay. you guys so i think this is a pretty cool stopping point and you know doesn't spoil too much uh leave it at a little baby cliffhanger i guess so if you guys enjoyed the video go ahead and give me a nice sweet thumbs up and if you like it even more to want to see more go ahead and uppercut that like that subscribe button you know what i mean you know uppercut it or you know elbow it or rko it or something like that anyway I love you guys, and I'll leave all the links to everything you think in the description. And be on the lookout for the review of the week. Uh, today is Friday. I said that. I should know this. That's what today is. Uh, I'm stupid. So be on the review for the week tomorrow. So, see you guys Sunday. Bye!